Hi everybody, my name is Aton and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you a really cool effect that um, doesn't need any paid plugins or anything like that. The only thing is there's a free um, free plugin from Red Giant Universe free, but you can just download that there. Aside from that, everything else is the complete stock After Effects um, plugins and stuff, and you can make some really cool results. Just any given frame of this is, um, and there, there are tons of variations of it. This is great for like a background of something. And so I have one example. This is just one of the many types of things you can make um, with this technique. This one's a little bright and flashy, but this could be used for a concert background or something. And so there are all sorts of cool variations of it you can make. You'd save it as a still frame and um, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's get started. So make a new comp and a solid that fits that comp and then let's throw on some radio waves so this will start by just doing that but you'll see it's set to polygon by default so we can just go to polygon here and turn the sides down to three so we're getting triangles coming out and so now what we can do is turn up this width so start to get some cool looking results. Okay, well, we're probably going to come back to this to tweak it a little bit, but now we can move on to our next step, which is adding a kaleidoscope effect, CC Kaleido. And so, now this this looks a little weird right now, um, but we can turn down that, and so something cool we can do is keyframe the color. So, I'm going to set a keyframe there, then go a little forward, and just I'll move this down, so that'll be good. And then I'll move it forward again, and move it down again, and move it forward again, and move it down, and then here we can make it like that, etc. So now we have a slightly different looping through time effect that is pretty neat. Okay, so we'll also maybe come back to some of the settings in there, but I just want to get all, this, um, all the effects on first and then we can tweak the settings. So the next thing we'll do is add on a vector blur. Now here, uh, we'll turn this up to mid-60s, is normally good, starting to get a cool effect there. This already could be some sort of background for something, this looks pretty neat. Um, okay, and then the next thing we're going to do, this is the effect from, um, from Red Giant um, Universe, Pixel Glow pixel glow easy so you can just download this from their website and so this is a little much right now but um we can like change the type to something else turn down the amount a little bit but just get a nice little turn the intensity up to like 18 maybe that's a little much 15 it's barely visible 16 17 16 and a half it is. Okay. Well, it's not really making much of a difference now. But that'll also change once we tweak some of these original settings of radio waves. Um, now we're going to want to sharpen it. And so here, we should sharpen it a lot. So you can just totally go out of control with the sharpening. Over a thousand is perfectly fine for something like this. Then color emboss. So and we can play with the relief a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now a radial fast blur. Okay. 
Okay, and now we can um, make this kaleidoscope effect a little bigger. Turn up the side and the size. And then we can also play with these um, these initial radio waves. I said we'd come back to it. So we can play with the expansion. Make everything get a little bigger. Um, and why not add on a little spin? That could look cool. So here's one um, example of where we're kind of at right now. And on the kaleidoscope too, we can change how it unfolds. And we get some different, different looks. This is kind of cool. If we can play this at, say, quarter resolution. Okay, and let's add on some more effects. So, bring this back to full resolution. Now we can add on find edges, one of my favorites. Down at the bottom, and invert that. And now we're getting some even cooler looks. This looks a little more science fiction-y. And now another pixel glow. a little nice flavor to it so getting some really cool results like this and every time you do it you'll get um, kind of different results you can play with the initial type if you want to give it more than three sides that'll work too I just find it I think it looks cooler when you use fewer sides but we could do four see how that changes it now we're getting like blocks detailed blocks sort of I think three works better. Because the glow doesn't work as well when it has more sides. Um, and spin's always cool because that um, that gives it sort of another dimension. When it spins sideways, you get uh, some more complexity. Let's try playing with the widths too. Turn up, say the end width. Everything will be different. And also the rotation of the kaleidoscope. You can make some really cool effects like this. Say you even freeze the time except for the kaleidoscope. And then just make that spin. You can get a really cool look like that. So this is the basic idea of how to get some really neat, um, neat looking things. I really like that. So keep this full screen for the end. Okay, so thanks for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to you. And I'm always looking for more tutorial topic ideas, so definitely leave those below as well. And if you want to send any examples that you've used this in, that would always be cool to see. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.